Go after your dreams, right? Go after it. I never compromised that. I never allowed anybody to tell me what I was capable of accomplishing. I never let anybody tell me that I can't do, right? I went after it. If you want to accomplish something or do something that a lot of people think is difficult to accomplish, you have to put all your eggs in one basket. There's no compromise. Doubt is such a strange thing. There'll be times where you succeed and there are times that you fail. Wasting your time doubting whether you're going to be successful or not is pointless. You you just put one foot in front of the other, you control what you can't control, and then you see what the outcome is. If you win, great. You're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey over again. If you lose, it sucks, but you're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey all over again anyway. If you want to play at an excellent level, if you want to do something excellent, you have to be excellent all the time. It's a way of life. It's not just I show up on Monday and be excellent. No, it don't work that way. You got to be excellent across the board. And that's how you build habits. When excellence becomes a habit, then that's just who you are. The fact of the matter is I'm still trying to get better. Make sure that you put your mind to it and go go at 110%. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Not only academically, but whether it's athletically, you have to go at it 110%. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. The only person that can stop you from accomplishing something is yourself. Mental toughness means you're going through a really tough time. Your body's sore, whatever the case may be. I can't get through this particular thing, right? To me, being mentally tough means you can take your mind someplace else and concentrate on that other thing to the point where the thing that was bothering you is no longer a focus and you don't feel it anymore. The most important thing, I think, for players that come after me is to understand that these things are possible because you don't want to ever limit your imagination. How in the world can we inspire people if we're continuing to give them what they believe is possible? (laughs) Not really inspiring anyone, right? So I think that is the, the most important thing that I would like the next generation of athletes to take from them. And the greatest fear you face is yourself because you know, we all have dreams and it's very scary sometimes to accept the dream that you have. And it's scarier still to say, okay, I want that. It's scary because you're afraid that if you put your heart and soul into it and you fail, then how are you going to feel about yourself? Right? So being fearless means putting yourself out there and going for it. Go for it, not for anybody else, but for yourself. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person, and then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. And uh, I think that's our challenge as people, is to, um, is to figure out how our story can impact others and motivate them in a way to create their own greatness. So if there's something I can leave for this next generation is to have that constant curiosity about the game. You have to continue to ask questions and try to understand why things happen. Because when you understand why things happen, then you understand how to make things happen. The way we approach the game is the same way we approach life. You do the right thing. You make the right play. You make the right play. And in life, it's the same thing. What do you feel in your heart is the right thing to do? And you do that. You know, it seems so simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the hardest things to do. What I've learned is to 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 always keep going. Always. No matter what happens, the storm eventually ends. And when the storm does end, you want to make sure that you're ready. He had a great quote that said, rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something I always live by. I'm not going to rest, and I'm going to keep on pushing now. There are a lot of answers that I don't have. Even questions that I don't have. I'm just going to keep going. Have a good time. Enjoy life. Life is too short to, to, to get bogged down and be discouraged. You have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile, and just keep on rolling. My philosophy was a very simple one. And I made a promise to myself that I was going to work that hard every single day so that when I do retire, I have no regrets. And that was the most important thing for me is to leave no stone unturned get better every single day and if I live that way then over time you know, I'd have something that was beautiful you know if you live your life to just get better every single day you know, do that for 20 years I mean what do you have is how do you negotiate with yourself when you talk about the mental side of it like the thoughts that happen in your mind when you're going through a competitive situation or you're facing a tight deadline you talk yourself out of it so you say okay well it won't be a big deal if I can do it or I don't have to get up 
on a Tuesday morning, they go ahead and hit the track. What does this day really mean? Like when you have those conversations with yourself, are you able to negotiate your way out of that little you know, voice telling you it's not that important? Or does that little voice get the best of you? I think that's what separates people who going to do great things versus people who don't. If you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability. No matter what it is, if you're going to do it, do it to the best of your ability. Like if you, when you find that thing that you love, then life makes sense. You wake up in the morning and life makes sense. And you have to figure out what it is that you really want to do. Like wake up in the morning and say, Yo, I'm excited to go do this. But when you find what it is that you love to do, then you wake up every morning with a sense of purpose. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. Yeah, that's the trick, isn't it? It's, it's finding what you love to do. I wake up in the morning excited to get to it. And if you have that feeling, then you're truly doing what God has put you on this earth to do. I, I don't negotiate with myself. I told myself you know, at 13 that I want to be one of the greatest who have ever played. That's the deal I've made. I shook hands with myself. That is the deal. That yeah. is the contract. That is non-negotiable. I was on the track at like uh, 4.30 a.m. In the middle of it, I'm thinking to myself, man, my legs are really tired. They're really hurting. And then I thought to myself, well, what would a quitter do? Would they just stop right now? Like, how does that work? Like, if I just stop right now, what would that <laughs> feel like? Is that why I always get second place? Uh, but I want to tell you guys something. When you have a dream, the one thing you have to watch out for are those out there that will try to crush your dream. And you cannot allow that to happen. That is your biggest challenge. So I challenge you to have your dream, go after it with all you have, and uh, be legendary in your own right. The confidence comes from preparation. You know, so when the game's on the line, I'm not asking myself to do something that I haven't done thousands of times before. You know, right? And so in those moments, if it looks like I'm um, ice cold or not nervous it's because i've done it thousands of times before so it's one more time the key factor for me was wasn't whether or not i was ready it was the fact that if i wasn't ready i was determined to figure out how to get ready and ultimately even if i was ready i still need to improve anyway right so the work's not going to stop i don't know what that dream is that you have i don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. Mm -hmm.